Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, wanted to show you a couple things. I uh, was having a hard time getting my PO4s and my NO3s down, believe it or not. Um, just wasn't having it. Protein skimmer couldn't keep up, I guess. And I don't have that many fish. That's what didn't I didn't understand. Um, I fed once a day. And I started getting just crazy algae all over my system. And I just couldn't figure it out. So, uh... Someone recommended putting a pro, uh, uh, refugium on. So I put a 50 gallon refugium on, uh, 60 pounds of miracle mud, 70 pounds of uh, live sand, um, a couple mangroves, and it was at one point a golf ball size of uh, chato. Now that basket is huge and uh, the, the bag is huge too. Well, <sighs> the chato is huge, I mean. But um, what I found was and this is just my opinion. It's easier to fight PO4s and NO3s with a refugium and a protein skimmer and add a little bit of NO3 and PO4s instead of trying to take it down so much. I don't know if this makes sense, but I'm going to try. Uh, I find it easier to reach for a desired number than try to drop down. Because every time I try to drop down, if I was at you know, a higher level than where I wanted to be on PO4s or NO3s. There was no happy medium. It was either all the way to the bottom or all the way through the roof. Um, so what I found was that I added a, pro uh, a refugium, um, run the protein skimmer a couple of hours a day, and I dosed PO4s and NO3s. Uh, I tried out the uh, Brightwell Aquatics. Um, wasn't 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 my friend. Uh, the instructions got a little confusing. Didn't trust what I was coming up with, so I moved over. Uh, if you go in almost any form, reef to reef, anyone, reef central, everybody talks about this stuff. Uh, so I just was like, hey, let me get on it and see. Uh, so I uh, used the calculator that's on the side. It asked me my desired, uh, where do I want to be? It asked me my volume of water and where I want to be with that. And I told it, you know, I want my PO4s. I wanted to try to make 3,000 mLs, 3,785 mLs of RO water last me the longest. So what I did was, and I have a whole bunch left, as you hear. Um, but what I did was, I did the calculations to where 1 mL of PO4s from that container should make my system of 240 gallons raise my PPMs by 0 0.03 um, is what I shot for. So I shot it in there. I put one, one ml. As you see, I'm getting ready to hook it up to a doser. Uh, shot one ml in the system, came back four hours later, and I overshot by one PPM. Uh, it was at 0 0.04 instead of 0 0.03. Not the end of the world, correct? But uh, pretty spot on, huh? Um, same for the NO3s. NO3s, I put eight tablespoons of uh, calcium nitrate in this container. I dosed four mLs of this, unfortunately, but this keeps me where I want to be, too. Um, I can literally dose one mL, but I find it to just dose four mLs every week, once a week, and dose one mL of uh, PO4s every day. And uh, my system is pretty happy now. Uh, my polyp extension has begun to return. It's not quite there all the way. I'm pretty sure there's another underlining issue, but... Um, one of the biggest issues was definitely my PO4s and NO3s not being stable. Um, yeah. So uh, if you guys want to know anything else about it, ask away. Uh, there's a couple other people that post on there about this stuff. Uh, but I don't see a lot on Facebook about the, the quality. I don't see any color return, turning yet besides green. Um, but it was all white. So, I mean, I'll take green over white any day. Uh, let's see if my WD comes back, my pink Cadillac. I have a whole bunch of high-end SPS that are really upset. So uh, let's see how long this journey lasts. And I'll tell you, time to start now. And uh, we'll see how fast it comes back. Thank you.